I figured out how to hack Instagram and the best part is that it only took me 48 hours. I've been working as a social media manager for quite some time now and I get different requests every single day and most of them are people asking me to help recover their account because they lost it to some hacker on the internet. After a few hours spent on Google and trying to understand all these things, I understood that primarily there were four methods of hacking on Instagram. The zero day vulnerability, the brute force method, phishing method and the remote key logger method. So these were the most popular methods of hacking. These are not the only methods, but these were the most popular methods. I will briefly tell you how all these methods work, but we will only focus on two methods that are the most common and that are mostly used to hack Instagram. The zero day vulnerability. This is when the Instagram app itself has a problem or a security threat that the hackers use to get data from the Instagram app itself and here you can't do anything because the app or the Instagram company is responsible for this. This has nothing to do with you and there is literally nothing we can do other than update our Instagram app as soon as possible whenever there is a new security patch. The second method is the brute force method. Brute forcing means using possible combinations of passwords again and again. So if you have, uh, for example, just your name as your password, someone can just blindly guess it and get access to your account. The third is phishing and uh, we will talk about phishing later. And fourth is remote key logger. Usually someone will send you a link of something uh, once as soon as you click it, uh, software will be downloaded in your phone or computer and as soon as the software is downloaded every time you type something on your keyboard that data is sent to the person who sent you that link so the next time you type in your instagram password it is also being sent to that person which he can use to log into your account phishing is that kind of hacking where a person tricks or a hacker tricks the user into giving up their Instagram information by themselves. This not only works for Instagram, this works for a lot of different platforms like Facebook, Google, Gmail, everything. So there are two main types of phishing that is used on Instagram. The first one is the emotional way. Here, whenever a person loses his account, the hacker uses that person's account and messages all his friends asking for help. So when, uh, when you see your friend has texted something, you will definitely reply to it, right? Whenever he is asking for help, you will say yes, because it's your friend texting you. And he, the hacker will use this to his advantage and asks you to change the email ID in your Instagram account. As soon as you do that, you lose access to your account and the hacker will gain access and you will be left logged out of your own Instagram account and that hacker will continue to do the same to your friends next. This chain will continue until all of your friends are ended up with lost Instagram accounts. So next time, even if your best friend asks you to change your Instagram settings or change the uh, authorized email or phone number, make sure you call them and ask them what is really going on. The next type of phishing is when people ask you to enter your password in some website that looks like Instagram, but is not actually Instagram. Here, mostly people will use excuses like competitions or some giveaways and all this stuff. They will send you a link which will send you to a website which looks exactly like Instagram, but it's not actually Instagram. And as soon as you enter your password and email address, the app will automatically send you to the real Instagram website, which means you will never know that you have uh, entered your email and password in some uh, notorious website until someone gets access to your account. I found out that phishing was fairly very easy because uh, if you are someone who uses the Linux system, uh, especially Kali Linux, and you know a little bit of coding, you can easily find proxy websites that looks exactly like Instagram. And just with a little tweaks, you can directly send it to people and convince them that it's the official Instagram page and they will enter their Instagram username and password, which you can then use to you know, hack them. And I don't suggest you do that, but I'm just saying that 
it is possible and it's not even difficult just with a little effort within five minutes you'll have access to all of it the same thing goes for remote keylogger method making people download an app by just uh, embedding it with the link is so easy that it will barely take you three to four minutes to set everything up and make someone download something that they don't want in their phone the more i thought about this the more i understood that hacking instagram was not at all difficult it just took a few hours of hard work and a little bit of understanding but this still did not explain how my friends were hacked because they definitely would not be a prey for a phishing attack and they were not dumb enough to click on a link that will download a remote keylogger in their device. So how the hell did they lose their account? Or is there any other method that we are not aware of? The more I thought about this, the more complicated this got. The more I researched about this, the faster I came to the realization that these were not the only ways. There was one more way that was so much more easier and also so much more effective way of hacking Instagram. And that is by you making use of the data breaches. Most of the companies go through data breaches every now and then, especially the big companies right now go through data breaches every now and then. And we see news of this data breach happening at least once a month. And this is where the hackers use this data breach information because 99% of us use the same password everywhere and this is exactly why it is important for you to change your password and also not use the same password because whenever there is a data breach this data becomes publicly available to anyone so once you lose something it is already on the internet and if you have the same password on everything it just means that you have given up everything on the internet for free. There's a website called Have I Been Pawned, which will show you whether your email address has been a part of a data breach. And when I checked on this, most of the friends who lost their Instagram account had actually been a part of a data breach. And when I checked my old email address, it was also a part of a data breach. And this was the email address that I did not remember the password of and this was the email address that had access to my old instagram account which i had also lost because i forgot the password when i changed my mobile phone as soon as i found out that my old email address and its password was somewhere on the internet i started searching for it i spent hours and hours on discord and hours and hours on reddit trying to find this data that was leaked in the year 2015 so it was not easy. I had to spend hours on the internet just trying to get my hands on this data. The data from these data leaks are removed from the internet as soon as possible because it's not safe if it gets into hands of everyone. So the FBI does its job to remove everything. But the bad thing about internet is that once it's on the internet, it's there forever. And it's definitely not possible to remove it forever and very soon i realized that there were websites which will give you this data if you pay them well now i was broke and i could not afford to pay them money because the price they were asking for this was pretty huge and i did not have that kind of money with me so yes the price was fair if you look at it in a hacker's perspective, it is fair because this data breach contains millions of data of millions of people out there. So definitely the price they were asking was fair, if not anything else, but I could not afford it. So I kept on searching for it. And after two days of searching, I finally found it somewhere in the corner of the internet. And once I ran a Python code on it, trying to find my data out of the millions of other people out there, I got the password and the Gmail address. This account was not visible on Instagram because I had not logged in for a long time. So Instagram had like deactivated kind of. So whenever you search this name, the account would not pop up. So the password I did not know. That's why I had to create some other account and I had no access to its Gmail or anything because in 2015 i did not know how to recover a lost password so i had completely forgotten about this whole existence of mine but 
It was there somewhere on the internet just for me to find it in 2022. Here is something that scared me. After this, when I asked 10 of my friends uh, for their email address, four or five of them were already been pawned, which means their information was on the internet somewhere waiting to be found by some hacker. But not just that, when I asked them, they all had used the same password everywhere for their Gmail, for their Facebook, for their Instagram, everywhere. Which means if someone gets access to this one password and email address, they have they literally have access to their entire digital life. So that's how I managed to get access to my older account, which theoretically speaking, uh, I actually hacked into my own account. That's why the title of this video is so and i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you stay safe on the digital world because there are a thousands of people waiting to exploit you out there so have fun stay safe i'll see you in the next one until then peace